pay one to this. Today, we're installing Windows 7. But not on this. Not on this. Not on this. Not on this. Not even on this. No. We're installing Windows 7 on this. Ram. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on a piece of paper. Yup, I just want to show you the speed of RAM compared to a 5400 RPM hard drive and an NVMe SSD before we start. So let's uncover the read speeds of the 5400 RPM hard drive. There we go, and you can, you can actually kind of see through it. So let's just take it off so that you can see a bit more clearly. There we go. Now for the NVMe. Let's take it off. Okay, that's a big improvement. And for the right speeds, more of the same. And now for RAM, the read speeds are absolutely ginormous compared to the SSD and certainly compared to the hard drive. And the right speeds are really what surprised me. Yup, look at that. And that is RAM. So yeah, enough looking at a piece of paper with speeds on it. Let's actually bring in the laptop. Gosh. So here's the two things that we need right here on the desktop. The IM Disk Virtual Disk Driver, which I will open. And VMware Workstation, so I already have the RAM disk made. So yeah, let's open up VMware to actually get started with making the virtual machine. Windows 7 RAM, I already have a, um, I already tried this several times and forgot to delete the virtual machine. So welcome to the new virtual machine, go away. Welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. So we will browse in my sh shared, because I have an ISO right there. This is Windows 7 Pro, Service Pack 1, 32 bit. So uh, let's go Home Basic just to install the least stuff. Next. Yes. Windows 7 RAM. Here we go. Let's just um, set that to 9 gigs. Just a random amount because we are actually going to be removing that um that hard disk there we go so let's click on um oh you can't even see it but now you can edit virtual machine settings okay here we go so let's set the ram to a more reasonable amount four gigs that'll do set it to a dual core cpu and and hard disk let's remove that and add new ram disk sata and create a new virtual disk. Let's set it to 16 gigs so that we can use up the entirety of my RAM disk. Yes. So let's put the VMware disk on the RAM disk. Finish. And there we go. Now, if we check here, you can see that we have a whole bunch of disk images made. So yeah, play. we go windows is loading files so i have set it to do an auto install process thing so i am just going to leave this camera pointed at the um at the screen i really hate how reflective the screen is it it's an absolute nightmare to film with well anyway starting windows so i'm just gonna leave it here and i'm gonna start a time lapse about now. Oh, it tried to play the startup sound, but it couldn't. Alright, select the location for the network network. This is a home network. The network network is a home network. So yeah, this is, um, oh God, it did not install much at all. Accessories. 
Yeah, we still have all the accessories, but we don't have... How's the storage? Oh, yeah. That's actually kind of good. So now, let's install VMware Tools. If I can find it, like, VMware Tools is grayed out. Let me find VMware Tools. Windows. Okay. Here we go. The net I oh, the network location is now home, so the network network is now a home network because its location is set to home on the network network. What how many times did I just say network? Preparing VMware tools for installation, okay. We have Windows Anytime upgrade here. And can I <gasps> sample music? Oh what auto no. This is the first thing you need to do on a on fresh Windows 7 installation. Just recommended settings. Finish. Can I turn the volume up? Volume's all the way up. Yeah, we definitely need graphics drivers. I'm just gonna keep that playing. Well, I have to talk over it or else I'll get copywritten. All right, we're installing VMware tools. I'm probably gonna stop this now so that there's less chance of me getting copywritten. Installing VMCI driver, yes, install anyway. The VSOC virtual communication driver failed. Rolling back action. All right, it ended prematurely. Let's try this again. Now, hopefully this works. I am installing nothing but the graphics drivers. Will you work? Okay. Yes, reboot. I might need to um get a 64-bit version of Windows just to test. Still have this sticker of um 16 gig RAM. This exact stick. This exact. Oh, I can definitely tell that this is this is changed. This exact model of ram is in this computer we are installing windows 7 on this exact model of stick of ram get over there um no can i screen resolution up to 1080p 1920 by 1080 keep and is windows Eero an option is there i don't even think windows Eero is in home basic well, what should we set the background to? Let's set it to... Yeah, there's not many backgrounds as well. This is really my first time using Home Basic and I and now I know how much stuff is removed from it. Anyway, let's just... This one. Save changes. So yeah, that is basically it. We have installed Windows 7 on RAM. This is RAM. So yeah, and also this thing works perfectly. Is it drag and drop drivers? I just want to check. Yeah, look. 10.4 gigs, yeah, not bad. Oh my gosh, there's so many PDFs. Can I drag and drop? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna download a 64-bit image and install the 64-bit image and get back to you so actually yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna download a 64-bit image and i'll be right back all right i got a 64-bit version of whatever it was and you can tell that i actually got home premium because 
there's a personalized setting, there's more options in the start menu, and if I do Winver, you can see Windows 7 Home Premium. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, if you have something to say, leave a comment, and if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!